Sometimes you just wanna, you wanna respond, but I ain't got no time for rumor and gossip, man. You came on this show, we was good and happy. Don't sit out here in front of these people and mess my home up with these people. I knew absolutely nothing about these rumors uh, Steve Harvey was talking about. When I, when I said I didn't hear anything about it, I didn't hear not a peep. The Marjorie and Steve Harvey saga has taken an unexpected twist as we dive into a recent interview where Marjorie Harvey lays her heart bare. In a deeply emotional revelation, Marjorie has poured her regrets and confessions into the open, sending what could be her final goodbye to Steve, not in words, but through the decision to file for divorce. Brace yourselves for the raw emotions that surface as we unpack Marjorie's candid revelations and the poignant reasons behind her heart-wrenching choices. In the interview, Marjorie's voice quivers as she recounts the fateful night when the course of their relationship took a devastating turn. I made a terrible mistake, she admits, her voice laden with remorse. I was at a party, and in a moment of weakness, I cheated on Steve. I was intoxicated, and my judgment was clouded. Marjorie's admission of infidelity echoes through the interview, her sincerity palpable as she lays bare her actions and the regret that weighs heavily on her heart. I deeply regret my choices, she confesses, the pain evident in every word. I hurt the person I love the most, and it's something I'll carry with me forever. But as the layers of the story unfold, Marjorie reveals the underlying reason that led her down this heartbreaking path. I believed that Steve had been unfaithful. I thought I was reacting to his actions, she admits, her voice wavering with vulnerability. It was a misunderstanding, and I let my emotions guide me without the full truth. Marjorie's explanation peels back the layers of human vulnerability, showing how even in the midst of love, misunderstandings can shatter the foundations of trust. Her revelation showcases the fragility of emotions and the powerful impact of miscommunication. In a heart-wrenching moment, Marjorie discloses her decision to file for divorce. Our relationship, the trust we shared, it's been shattered, she explains, her voice a mix of sorrow and determination. I can't change my past actions, but I can choose how to move forward. And for both of us, it's with the weight of a heavy heart that I've decided it's best we part ways. This final goodbye, conveyed through the irreversible act of divorce, speaks volumes about the complexities of human emotions and the turmoil within relationships. Marjorie's journey is a reminder that even amidst regret, sometimes the healing path is one of separation. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seats. We're about to delve into the aftermath of Marjorie Harvey's shocking decision to file for divorce and the fiery storm that Steve Harvey's response has unleashed. This is a moment that will send shockwaves across the virtual world, so make sure you're ready for a turbulent ride through a torrent of emotions. In an interview that radiates pure anger, Steve Harvey's voice is laced with a fury that's impossible to ignore. Marjorie, you've turned our love story into a tragedy, he roars, his voice dripping with a mix of accusation and hurt. You claim it's regret, but I see through your words. You destroyed our family for your own gain. The intensity in Steve's voice is palpable as he launches into a scathing tirade. You were quick to call me a cheater, a liar, and now you've conveniently decided to end our marriage? It's clear as day, you're after my money, he accuses, his words like daggers slicing through the air. Steve's anger doesn't stop there. His voice trembles with a mixture of betrayal and frustration. You've tarnished the memory of what we had. He continues, his words reverberating with the impact of shattered trust. I gave you my heart, my loyalty, and now all that's left is the bitter taste of deception. In a moment that's both heartbreaking and revealing, Steve's emotions boil over. You turned your back on our family, on our children, he exclaims, his voice quivering with a deep-rooted hurt. Your actions scream louder than your words ever could. Your choice to divorce is nothing more than a desperate attempt to grab what you can. We've only scratched the surface of this fiery showdown between Marjorie and Steve Harvey. Before we unveil the final part of this dramatic saga, don't forget to comment down below and let us know your thoughts on who you believe is in the right amidst this tumultuous situation. Steve or Marjorie, your insights are valuable as we continue to unravel the complexities of love, betrayal, and human reactions. 
Brace yourselves for an immersive exploration into the world of fan reactions as we embark on a journey through the labyrinth of emotions and insights triggered by the ongoing Marjorie and Steve Harvey saga. This digital forum has become a microcosm of understanding, empathy, and sometimes divergent viewpoints as fans from across the globe come together to dissect, discuss, and ultimately connect over the tumultuous narrative. Before we plunge into the depths of these responses, I implore you to join this captivating conversation by subscribing and ensuring that notification bell is activated, because the fan reactions you're about to witness mirror the pulse of collective sentiments, evolving with every new twist and turn. Since the inception of this dramatic saga, the comment sections and social media platforms have transformed into a virtual arena for heartfelt discussions and impassioned dialogues. The array of thoughts and emotions shared showcase, the diversity of perspectives within the fan community. Empathy is an undeniably prevailing theme. One observer poignantly commented, We're witnessing the fragile nature of relationships, the interplay of emotions. It's essential to remember that nobody's perfect, and sometimes circumstances lead us to make choices that seem unimaginable. Amidst the discourse, fans have rallied around the Harvey children, acknowledging the collateral damage they endure. The kids must be going through their own hell, reads a compassionate comment. It's a stark reminder that when relationships crumble, the ripple effects touch everyone involved. Some individuals have assumed the role of peacemakers, imploring the community to extend a hand of support. It's easy to fall into the trap of blame and judgment, but let's unite in understanding. Shares another commentator, a family's pain is no less real, and perhaps by fostering empathy, we can all learn something about our own relationships. The spectrum of fan reactions, from expressions of heartache to calls for unity, reflects the intricate dance of human emotions. Their virtual solidarity illustrates the power of shared narratives in fostering connections beyond geographical boundaries. And there you have it, an insightful exploration into the spectrum of fan reactions surrounding the Marjorie and Steve Harvey saga. As we prepare to wrap up this chapter, I encourage you to be an active participant in this ongoing conversation. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell because your engagement fuels these discussions and ensures you don't miss any updates on this gripping narrative. As you've witnessed, emotions run deep, opinions vary, and connections are forged even in the face of adversity. Share your own thoughts in the comments below. Whose perspective resonates with you? Whose actions do you empathize with? The comments section is your space to add your voice to this evolving story. Thank you for being part of this journey with us. Until next time, let's continue to explore the complexities of human relationships, emotions, and reactions. Remember, understanding and dialogue can illuminate even the darkest corners of our experiences.